Welcome back to MT Engineering. In this series of tutorial, we are going to create this amazing maze tracer machine in SolidWorks. I hope you enjoy it. Open a part, click OK. Then choose top plane sketch. Then choose center rectangle. Draw a rectangle from the center to there and add a dimension. One and one thousand three hundred millimeter and two thousand three hundred millimeter. Exit the sketch. Then again, we have to draw some sketches. Then go to 3D sketch, choose a line, draw a line with a up to this point and there right click select choose this line and you have to choose a long y then choose this line and this line make them equal then again choose line draw a line from there in y in zx plane right there and there right click select then end again we have to draw similar with this line then choose this line and this line make them equal choose this line and this line make it equal Then again draw a line, four legs, right click select, to this line and this line, make it equal. Then smart dimension, add a dimension. Add an angle then draw a horizontal line in Z direction. We have to do add a dimension on it. Choose line <coughs> No, it's not proper So we have to delete this line And again go to line Draw a line In Y explain up to there right click select now it is good then again dimension 
at uh, the angle 135 degree and here 1500 zoom it a little bit and around 400 millimeter this line and this line mirror extends mirror about this plane the front plane click ok now we get better line but the legs are twisted so make them in a long y direction a long y now it is fully defined now it is ready for weldment like this the sketch Then choose structural members, standard and square two. <coughs> then choose the size two by two and add new group. Choose this line. this line this line this and this line then click ok now we have to add another group again we have to choose we have to change the size 3 by 3 Then do this line and this line. Then we have to add another group, new group. Then again we have to choose this and this line without changing the size. Again new group, choose this line. In this line, we are going to make structural members here. This and this line. Choose where we are remaining the legs. Choose this. We have to make a new group here and choose this line and this line. Then click OK. Now we get these structural members. Then choose structural members and choose pipe and specify this size and choose group here and here. Then add new group, choose this line and this line, then click OK. So the, you know the corners are not perfect, so we have to trim those. First hide, yeah, OK, we have to mix some sketches here to draw base for the legs and 
uh, the dimension 150 by 150 now it is fully defined select it ok cancel it we have to draw some sketches draw choose line and draw a center line from here to there right click construction geometry select this sketch and choose mirror extent mirror about this line click ok exit the sketch choose extrude both base extrude it around around match the result and 20 mm then click ok Then choose corner rectangle, draw rectangle for the seat of the motor. Now it's better. Go to features, extract both base, reverse direction, for offset from the sketch and around 10 mm, reverse direction. A little bit, increase it a little bit and click OK. 25 is good. Click OK. Again, choose this face and sketch. Draw rectangle from this point around here. Smart dimension and dimension on it. Then offset entities offset this line towards in reverse direction and click OK. Extrude, extrude it up to offset from surface and down to there. Choose this face sketch. We have to draw a leg. First, choose line and draw a line. From this point to there, right clicks construction geometry and draw center rectangle here. Go to smart dimension and add a dimension on it. Now it is not fully defined. Uh, it's not at the middle of this rectangle. So choose this line and make the middle point of this line. I 
I can't find it. So yes, choose this point and this point. Make them horizontal. Now it is going to fully defined. Then up to surface, up to this face, extend it. Now we get this feature. Again, hide the sketches. Here, the, we have to trim some indices to this and this. Then click OK. Now we get a better ending. Now again trim this face and this. Yes, like that and click OK. Repeat the same process. Choose trim extent. Choose this face and this face. Specify corner type. This one and click OK. Again for this one. Now the previous is better. Then we have to draw sketch here in this face. Choose a line away the middle point and draw from there to there. Sketch again, choose a line away the midpoint of the center line, draw a line. Construction geometry. Choose this line and this midpoint and make the midpoint. Choose this line and this edge. Make it coincidence. Then choose pointers. And draw some pointers here. Draw a line, construction geometry. And then I add the dimension on it.
choose this midpoint maximum midpoint delete this we have enough sketch here we have to mirror this go to mirror extent with respect to about this line deselect this line then click ok exit the sketch then go to whole wizard we have to make a hole on this sketch go to features whole wizard then specify the hole then choose down hole specify the size 16 mm and the depth around 600 mm then go to position then choose a point as you draw in the previous sketch now it is good click ok now we get the holes apply material on it right click edit material then choose iron and dectile iron apply material and close it now we get the first part